Yeah, I'm doing all right, man. A uh, bit of a underperformance for me tonight, but here oh, I am yeah? on the mic, so that's what matters, right? That's right. Being on the mic, entertaining that, the people, that's the what happy I'm people for. of the stream. That's, that's why I'm we're here. here. Uh, I, I did kind of get messed up on stream earlier, but hopefully I can redeem myself a little bit tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's get into this match of Razo versus Toski. Yeah, so. Toski, uh, actually, so these two, both IE, um, you know, Toski did make the upset over YMCA earlier today. Ooh. Uh, pretty solidly with the snake. You know, up and comer for sure. Been coming out to these, uh, made it to this far into WNF a couple of times now, but I mean, he's, uh, he's on the come up for sure. Okay, well, it definitely looks like he has the recovery tech down as far as snake goes. I mean, he's definitely uh, pulling out bombs and just letting himself get exploded. He is taking the trades and... As far as I'm concerned, at this position that they're in, those you, trades are going in yeah. his favor. You definitely take those. You're going to be killing pretty damn early. Oh, he threw a bomb. They both threw him bombs now. Damn. Peach taking a page out of Snake's book. Great use of the Nikita loop right there just to stall it a little bit so he's able to catch a side B from Razo. That's not fair. That's actually not fair. He, <laughs> he released the Nikita right on top of himself. So the wake of attack, act not only did it trade, but he got punished because he chose the correct option. That's not fair. It wasn't the <laughs> correct option, man. I guess not. Why, why you get? Why you hitting him with gap attack, man? Yeah, Toski actually drawing first blood right now. Looking pretty good against Razo. Yeah, recovering high like that. Oh, but getting clipped by the up air by Razo. No. As C4 wasn't enough to you know give him a little bit of a defensive play. Yeah, Razo not scared of it, knows that when he's that close to Toski, even if he tries to detonate the C4, he'll end up killing himself either way. He's gonna be able to get that up here and seal it out. And one thing I wanna point out is that Razo actually, you know, hosts quite often, and Toski is a pretty frequent uh, member of said group that practices with Razo regularly. So these two are gonna be going after each other's player habits as well as just the characters. Oh, very smart, using the Peach Bomber against the Nikita and then bouncing off and recovering off that. Right. Just, Toski just keeping Razo at the ledge here, trying to find a way to see out the stock. Doing his best to force him onto the uh, Pokemon Stadium platform so he can detonate the C4. Instead, just gonna go, uh, detonate it and then replant a new one. And I like how patient Razo's being with his approach. He's uh, really taking note of where these grenades are landing, how uh, Toski is tossing them. Even using the Peach Bomber to avoid the Nikita altogether and just running right out of the C4 oh. trap with the down throw into up tilt. Guaranteed. Exactly. Guaranteed at those percents. That's what, you know, it was just one of the traps that Toski's been setting up. Yeah, and that is a situation I've seen plenty from the both of them. Great C4 recovery there from Toski, able to detonate the one on stage and still get the new one out in time to save him. Mm -hmm. Even throwing out the Nikita to to cover his recovery. Yeah, now Toski is, you know, still even with Ruff. Down tilt to Nair. Oh, and I was expecting big damage coming out from Razo, especially against like heavier characters. Yeah, Snake doesn't have, you know, a small hitbox at all. It's mm -hmm. pretty easy to combo him if you're airtight with it and he can't open the legs out. Yeah, but just poor positioning for Razo as Toski was able to just air dodge, but now we see another forward throw, and it's going to be Razo's attempt to hit uh, to the ledge guard again. Here comes the ledge traps from Razo. Ooh, he got the turn up for the extra damage, too. Yeah, no, Razo really started to run away with this. This game started off very solid to Toski, but is he going to be able to, you know, bring this back? Snake racking up damage. No! Oh! He got the shield break from Saturn! From downtown. 40 love for Razo now. Wow, what a clutch, clutch uh, Mr. Saturn. I didn't even realize that he had tossed that until his shield broke. There was just so many yeah. traps, grenades, projectiles all over the screen. And then you just see the shield pop. That was a fresh shield too. Yeah, it's I mean, the that power of Mr. Saturn. But yeah, I mean, I feel like Toski was spending so much time focusing on his traps, he didn't notice that Razo had pulled the Mr. Saturn. Maybe he just expected it to be another turn of that he could shield. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not the case for him though. I mean, even like if you're just watching with your peripherals, the Mr. Saturn, like just the color of Mr. Saturn, kind of reflects the same yeah, it's as, not uh, as a turn up. 
Okay, running right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. And Toski good. Took the first command this time. Zaya just, you know, set up his game, make it difficult for Razo to approach. But Razo having no trouble right now getting that first 60% on Toski and Kyle. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a back throw and trying to follow up with the forward air, but not going to be able to connect as we see some good DI from Razo. Oh, Nair and directional air dodge, but that's going to whiff. That's going to force Razo to whiff the grab. Nowhere for him to go right there. Even if he tried to air dodge past it, he would not have used the ledge. Mm -hmm. That was just good scouting from Razo. I feel like what drives Toski get a little impatient. He's just trying to fight Razo, and you know, in that close quarter combat, it's going to be in favor of Razo. Toski really needs to just stack up, set up his traps, and stop chasing Razo down. So much. Yeah, I'm surprised that he's approaching Razo as often as much as he is because. You know, we saw in game one him really sitting back, forcing Razo to approach, setting up his traps, uh, and we're not seeing that here in game two. I feel like, you know, we started to see a little bit more though, mate. And, you know, he was able to find that stock, not take too much damage now. It, maybe he's regaining his composure here. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is starting to chuck a little bit more nades, but Raza with the lead, he's not, uh, he's not looking to approach. I mean, you could see it just when he was like, Set up on the, the platform, he had perfect angle just to throw turnips all day. Oh, is he going to chase him into the sky? He does, and directional air dodge to the ledge. He has great recovery mix up there from Toski. Gets called out on the C4 drop with the side B, though. Peach Bomb is going to be able to seal out that stock. Now, Completely not expecting away. that. And just We see more aggressive play coming out from Toski. He's shielding, he's pressuring Razo uh, in the ledge. Ooh, good turn up to interrupt the Nikita. I'd like to kind of see some more ledge trapping from Toski. A lot of times he's just setting up, or he's not saying up as much as he could be on the ledge, winning as uh, Razo off stage. He, you're right, he, he really isn't. We, most, uh, as far as ledge trapping goes for Toski, the most we see is these up smashes. Oh, just dropping a little bit too low for Razo. He's going to forfeit that stock. Yeah, he, it looked like he actually messed up some sort of air dodge on stage and didn't quite get the ledge and wasn't able to recover. Oh. Unfortunate. He burnt his air dodge early, so Razo knows he does not have one to go to the ledge. That's the go ahead to go down, pull that trigger, and get the early stop. I mean, even if he had his air dodge, just the way that he was recovering, yeah. uh, Razo immediately floated in a position where he could not air dodge uh, yeah. vertically and make it back to stage. So it was, he had to tech that, and it didn't even look like he had the opportunity to tech. Yeah, very unfortunate for him right there. Not able to get the tech, but, you know, still, that was winners. He already got one up under his belt. He is going to be looking to, you know, bring it back and climb it to this top eight. That's right. That's right. But coming up next, we have uh, Meteor. So another, another member of our carpool night. It was me, Toski, 